Hello and welcome to the John Ark Show. Today's episode is called Black Market Jobs. Before we begin, I want to encourage you to subscribe to our channel for free. You can also like, comment, and follow us. We're going to have a lot of great celebrity interviews coming up, so make sure to click on that notification bell so you can be notified every time we upload a new episode. Also, we ask that you post a link to today's show on all your social media to help spread the word. Now, let's get started. We reached out to a lot of inside sources, and now it appears that anecdotally, black market jobs are growing faster in numbers, while legitimate legal and straight jobs are diminishing in numbers. Before we begin, let's say that we don't advocate anyone out there look for a black market job or work in the world of crime. Don't do that. That's, that's a bad decision. It always ends up badly. You may make a ton of money early on in the beginning, but eventually the whole thing blows up on you. There are just too many dangers that often involve violence or jail time or death in the world of crime. So avoid these at all costs. But sometimes people can't avoid them because there are no legit jobs out there in their area. So let's start out with what are black market jobs? Well, here are just a few of the many categories. Jobs like drug dealing, prostitution, street criminals, home invaders and burglars, white collar criminals, human trafficking. The list just goes on and on. There are robbers. There are many other categories, you know, of black market jobs. Now, what do all these jobs have in common? Well, you don't pay taxes when you, uh, when you work in these jobs. Also, you control your own work schedule and work hours. Criminals often don't pay rent and they don't pay for their home mortgages or their businesses. They just break in wherever they live or do business and stay there until they're forced out. They're really good at networking and building alliances. Have you ever seen 50 teenagers go into a major retailer and just clean it out in a few minutes? These are very common uh, social media videos. They'll, they'll swarm a jewelry store or a retail store or restaurants, just about anything, and they'll go past people's tables snatching purses, snatching anything of value, especially cell phones. Have you ever seen them go into a, uh, a restaurant or a retail store and, and a couple dozen people will steal a hundred cell phones within a matter of minutes? Well, that's how it works. So the way this works is and with great efficiency, they'll meet up online, they'll discuss the plans to, uh, to swarm a store or a restaurant or a retailer, and then they'll do it. And in a matter of minutes, the place is empty and they're out of there. A lot of people doing these jobs are able to successfully invest the proceeds from their thefts into real estate. If you go out to the suburbs and you see someone relatively young driving a Ferrari and living in a million dollar plus home, then the suspicion is usually that they're involved in something shady. Do you know what else black market jobs provide that a lot of legit jobs don't? They make it really easy for the individual to work wherever they want geographically. You can work in New York one week, LA the next week, then Miami. It's much better than remote working because you get to physically enjoy your new location while you're working there. A high percentage of women now prefer to date someone working a shady job over someone who makes a living working in 95. It sounds counterintuitive, doesn't it? But there's a big percentage of women who would rather date a thug, rather marry a thug. Well, they might not get married, but rather be with a, bu a, a thug, get, uh, get impregnated by a thug, have a child with a thug. This is a very strange and common phenomenon now. That's just one of the benefits of driving a hot car and making a lot of money. I know someone who made a lot of money running a shady e-commerce business uh, back in the day. He took the proceeds from it and purchased a couple of pizzerias and other businesses. Now he's financially independent and he's, he's more legit. He's not 100% legit, but he's like 90% legit. <laughs> Here are some other advantages to black market jobs. If you have a job like this and things go bad, then you can switch to another sector. You can switch from white collar criminal to home invader or something crazy like that. The next week you decide to get involved in another black market uh, space. The growth we're seeing in the black market jobs is accelerating while it appears to be getting harder and harder to find legit jobs out there that can support you and your family. Once again, we don't advocate or recommend that anyone do these black market jobs. So keep trying to find legal and legitimate work if you can. Good luck. 
Thank you for watching. I want to encourage you to subscribe to our channel for free. You can also like, comment, and follow us. We're going to have a lot of great celebrity interviews coming up, so make sure to click on that notification bell so you can be notified every time we upload a new episode. Also, we ask that you post a link to today's episode of our show on social media to help get the word out. Thank you, and we shall talk to you soon. Bye-bye.